video of triumph in tragedy. You know, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 to 7 says something extremely interesting. Paul says, all praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful, merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ. Even when we are weighed down with troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. For when we ourselves are comforted, we will certainly comfort you. Then you can patiently endure the same things we suffer. We are confident that. That as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in the comfort God gives us. Paul was a man that was persecuted many times. He faced a lot of troubles. Uh, he was in jail. He was whipped multiple times. He was a man who suffered for that which he believed. And he was a man that considered it a joy to serve God faithfully, even in the midst of incredible and extreme persecution. What I've found about a lot of believers is we enjoy to live comfortably. I, I know I do, right? We, we, we know what it's like to have air conditioning in the summer and heaters in the winter. And for the majority of us, we have food on the table and we tend to live pretty good lives in our modern society. And being comfortable feels good. But you see, Paul could have chosen a, a life of comfort, but he actually decided to do something different. He decided that he was going to live a life that was uncomfortable, to follow Jesus, to do what God had called him to do, even if that meant suffering. But in the midst of that, he encountered an incredible truth that he shared right here that I just got through reading with, to you. And what he found was that in the midst of any troubles, God was his comforter. And I love that because the reality is we can live comfortably or we can live with God's comfort. The more comfortable we choose to live in this life, the less comfort from God we will receive. But the problem with the comfort of this life is that it is temporary comfort and keeps us disconnected from God. But the more that we engage God's calling in our lives, even if that means suffering, even if it means trials or difficulties, we will be able to experience the incredible comfort of God. And Paul makes that clear, that he experienced God's comfort in the midst of his discomfort. What an incredible truth that we can choose to live in. And so... There's one thing, though, that I want to specifically focus on and share with you today. And it's verse 4, where Paul says, He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. You see, part of the reason that God allows, not causes, but allows difficulties to happen in our lives is because God knows that he, number one, is available to comfort us in the middle of our difficulties, to meet us at our point of pain and to bless us in that place, to comfort us, to heal us, to strengthen us in the middle of that place. But God also allows us to go through these difficulties to experience his comfort so that you and I might become ministers of comfort to those who are suffering. There are many people around you that are suffering right now. Many people that, that, that are suffering in a variety of different ways. Maybe it's a person who's lost a job. Maybe somebody who has experienced the lack of food or resources during the time of COVID. A friend who has experienced injustice, mistreatment, even racism. It doesn't matter what the issue is, but people are suffering. And the reason why we go through trials, why God allows us to go through them, is so that we, we might grab a hold of his comfort. Because if we grab a hold of his comfort, then we will be able to share that comfort with others. 
You know, there's something I've said for many, many years. I've said that you might be the closest person to Jesus that a friend or family member has. And of course, we want them to meet Jesus. But I want you to consider that they will meet Jesus through you. And when you can meet a person at their place of pain, their point of pain, their point of discomfort, of tragedy, of difficulty, whatever that might be, then you have an incredible opportunity to share the comfort of God with those people. And so I want to encourage you that in the middle of your difficulties, don't try to run around them, escape them. No, no, no. Go straight through them. And the God of all comfort will be with you. Because God wants to teach you and I how to depend on him. And then as we receive his comfort, he wants us to know how to use that to minister to others who are in need. Because other people that are hurting and in pain may not be able to escape their problems. But what they can do is receive the comfort of God that you have received in the midst of your difficulties. God bless you. Keep receiving his comfort and giving it to those who need it.